it immediately starts up. I'm doing a review on the Gasland portable water heater. I was looking at a bunch of these. I like this company. I mean, listen, if the, your company's called Gasland, golly, it's industrial, it's commercial, it's totally awesome. And here's the thing, last winter, what happened? Power goes down, or how many times have I been dry camping out in the middle of no man's land, and what did I want more than anything? I wanted a shower, or I was somewhere and they didn't have hot water. Oh, they offered showers. Oh yeah, we offer showers, but it's cold water. This fixes all those problems. I don't care where you are, this thing works and it's portable. And if you got one of these just for no other reason, when the power goes down and you can't heat water, mama's gonna be happy with Let's you. Take a look at it. I have not taken it out of the box. It comes with directions. Let me spin it this way. And just kind of look at this, guys. I can just look at this. This thing is absolutely solid. Look at the indicator lights. Look at the knobs. I mean, this is not a cheap unit. This is a unit that you're gonna keep year after year after year. It looks very commercial. It looks very industrial. It looks, honestly, like I'm gonna be taking some hot showers from now on. It comes with this box. Let's look and see what's in this box. I'm guessing this is everything that we are going to need. Here's your gas line. Look at this. Look at this. I thought I was going to have to buy this myself. I can't believe they provide that for you. You know what I'm saying? Regulator goes on your propane tank. Love it. This is your this is your shower head. Pretty high tech. Loving that. Couple uh rings, couple of it's all here, guys. It's literally all here. I love it. Okay, here's our shower head, guys. You're just going to put this here. Tighten that up a little bit. Now, one of the things that I was very very impressed about with this unit is this. This is so thick, it's not even funny. This isn't something cheesy. This isn't something that just clips in over here. Some of their competitors have this and it's just like more like a coat hanger. This is industrial and we're just gonna hang this thing up right here on this hook. Hook, hold. You better hold, hook. Looks like it's gonna hold. We're gonna put our shower head on there and they give you actually if I was putting this up, say, on my Airstream, okay, they actually give you a place where this hangs up. It just all the time hangs up. They actually give you this piece, which is really nice, and this holds up your shower head. So let's say this was your permanent fixture. All you would have to do is lower the unit down here so you have all this space for ventilation, and then you would mount this here, and your hose, your shower head, would fit right in there. Guys, we're gonna just hook this up here. Just turn, spins on. Not too hard. I'm just gonna get it snug on there. Here's the two adapters. I'm gonna, I don't need that one. I need this one and here's my hose and here's what I'm saying. It fits perfectly on there. So I'm gonna put this adapter on the far end. The one we need here and it says underneath, it says water inlet. This is water outlet and guess what that's gonna be? That's gonna be for the gas. Hose. So, let me pull this hose. The hose is gonna be right here our propane line and guys what you can do is you can buy a longer propane line um, this is a little short I already ordered one you don't have to if you have this lower to the ground this is all you need but if not I'm always I like to keep my propane away from the flame that's just something I like and again we're gonna just drop this and we're gonna screw this on there boom like that we're gonna tighten this up I'm not gonna bore you, but I have a little bottle of soap and we're gonna put some soap on there to make sure that is not leaking. And guys, that's what it looks like. And you're like, please tell me you're gonna crank it up. You want me to start it and like show you the shower? Wow, it's a lot to ask. Yeah, baby, you know I will. Guys, before our baby's gonna work, it has a place for two D batteries. You know why that's good? You don't have to plug this thing up. You could be in the middle of nowhere all you need is a couple D's and this thing's gonna run. You have everything you need here. All you need is a water line and you could, I guess, probably cheat, do a DIY if you had a pressurized system in the back of your truck or in the back of your car, one of those things that has a water hose but you put pressure in it and it's upside and it's hanging in a tree. Oh! Guys, after I install the batteries, here's what I wanna do. I wanna put this on single flame I want to put this one what looks like a sunshine and I want to put this for double water. Now the 
display here, the LED display, isn't going to come on, okay, until I hit the water. You ready? Boom. Now, it immediately starts up, and the water's hot. The water is literally hot. That quick, it is hot. Not kidding you. Let me warm it up just a little bit. And you can hear, you can, this is literally hot water, guys. Oh, I gotta turn that down, I'll burn my hand. This is literally, that's 102. This is 102 degrees right now. This thing is totally awesome. Let's crank this up. I can take it up to 108. Guys, this is hotter than what's in my house right now. This thing is totally awesome. So let me go over it with you again. As soon as you turn this off, it turns off like that. It has all these different safety mechanisms so you're not blowing yourself up, so you're not hurting yourself, okay? When you first start it, single flame. Over here, it's the sunshine. So it's not gonna be in the blue, but it's gonna be over here to the sunshine. Right here is double water. That's how much water you want to go out. No sooner than you hit the button right here, see the button? As Soon as I hit the button, this thing starts up. You can hear it, it goes click, 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 click. That's why you need the battery. How satisfied am I with this unit? I am very satisfied. Can you imagine, honestly, everyone around you is dry camping and all you have is those spigots and you're showered, and I mean, the water that's coming out of here is decent pressure, and it's hot. It's hotter than what I bathe in in the house. I give it five stars. I really like it. Gasland has done a good job. They made it simple for a person that really doesn't know anything about natural gas or any of those things. You can read the directions, and you really can figure it out, and because of all the safety mechanisms on this unit, you're not gonna hurt yourself. I mean, when you read the brochure and you read some of the things that this thing can do for you, you wanna get one, okay? Hey, I hope this helped you out and realize this, I had to take it out of the box and put water in it before I went camping. And the only reason I did that is because I love you, man. Hey, happy camping.